Hey Geeks! Today I'm gonna talk about what is optimization and the basics of an optimization algorithm. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to like and to subscribe to our channel to always stay up to date. And if you have new ideas for cool videos that you would like to see on this channel, just send them to us or drop them in the comments below. Enjoy watching! The word optimization is everywhere. It doesn't matter if we talk about reducing the amount of CO2, if we talk about engineering problems in general, or about optimizing the bank balance account we have, or yeah, about e-commerce if it's about A-B testing or general software problems. In all of these areas and a lot of more areas, we use optimization. But what actually is optimization? This question I want to answer today and give you a brief introduction about optimization and optimization algorithms. Before defining what it is, let's get back to the problem. Normally you have some problem, I call it here black box function, where you have some inputs and these inputs are mapped by the black box function to several outputs. And optimization only means that you always want to try to get the best results for your outputs and therefore adjusting your inputs. You have a lot of different optimization problems and you have a lot of different options here as well. So for example, the amount of inputs that you can have can vary for each problem that you have, but also the input types that you have can be different or the time it takes to have one black box evaluation. And last but not least, I told you optimization is always about the output and optimizing the output, but you can also have several outputs. And what you see here is that you have a huge variety how you can describe your optimization problem and what optimization is. Actually, it has always the same goal, but you need to approach it differently. If we take one specific example, I have this mathematical function here that you can see. On the x-axis, we see the input, we have one input, and on the y-axis, we see um, the matching output that we want to maximize in this case. So the optimization goal is to maximize it. And when just looking here to finding the best solution, then it's here at the point eight, if we have a range of our input between zero and 10. And normally to get the best solutions, we use optimization algorithms, which always work in the same way. We first have an initial sampling set where we say at these points we want to do our first black box evaluations. Then we do the black box evaluations and look how the inputs and the outputs are correlated to each other and follow a logic somehow um, that we create a new point. And we do this so long until we are happy with the results. So iteratively always repeating the same logic until we have results which are satisfied. I did a really simple example to end this video. Um, I did my own optimizer here with the same function which always says always go two steps ahead and then one step back and I'm happy when my target value is above six. And if we let this optimizer run, probably it's not that efficient, it takes points twice or whatever, but after a while you will see that hopefully uh, it will make us happy and yeah reach the goal here at this point and um, this is how optimizers in general work for optimization you have a fixed logic which is repeated over and over again until a criterion is reached you now know what optimization is and you understood the basics of optimization algorithms in the next videos we're going to show you a lot of different optimization algorithm approaches so don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date. And if you have an idea about a video, just drop it in the comments below. Until then, keep optimizing.